Hi, here to give you a quick overview on Facebook Insights in the Facebook Business Suite, which is pretty much Facebook Analytics, understanding the numbers so that you could use it for whatever reason or whatever purpose you need to use the numbers for. Once you have a good overview on how people are engaging with your content, then you sort of know what to do. So here it is, Facebook Insights. So, all right, here we have it the Facebook Insights page. And how you get there again is you log into your Facebook Business Suite. Once you log into your Facebook business suite, you look for the tab on tab for insights on the left here. Lots of tabs here, of course, a lot more tools, but we are talking about insights here. And once you click that, you get to see this page. Now, right here on top, you get to pick any page that you're managing. You click that, you get to see uh, the insights about any page you're managing. And over here, you get to see the dates corresponding to the content or the results, I should say, that you want to see and content. So the dates that you'll be operating with to get your numbers, to understand what's going on or right here, you could tweak it. You could do yesterday, last seven days, this week, this month, last week, last month, custom. So you get a lot of options right there. And so on the left here then is we have the four main tabs. We have overview, results, content, and audience. And on this main page, we get to see a brief snapshot of that in some sort of way, which is here is the overview, here are the results, uh, the content, and the audience. Content here, audience here, results here. So they're all listed here. And once you click this, once you click here, you get to see what's here. Once you click here, you get to see what's here. And once you click here, you get to see what's here. So just to give you an idea that this is the main page, which is a real overview page. So, and you get to see all the results, the content, the audience, even through here. So let's start with results, which is the top part. So here, the good thing is because Facebook owns Instagram, and you can separate this too, you have the opportunity to see what's going on on both pages. So here is on our, under our reach, Results, we have Facebook page reach, lets you know the numbers and how uh, the percentages. So here it shows us, wow, we have dipped 84.6%, which is quite a lot. But we know that it's because we didn't post a lot of content within the last few weeks, and that affected us. Instagram reach has gone up. Your page and profile visits, your Instagram profile visits, your new likes and followers, new page likes, new Instagram followers you get to see that snapshot here, which is really, really cool. Now, not just that, again, we're sticking with these dates. If you want that on paper to show anybody, maybe go for a meeting, show the big guys, <laughs> you know, up there, or just to pull up your numbers and to have it on paper, you can export it. All you do is you click that and you can export it as a PNG, CSV, a PDF. That's completely up to you, whatever you need it for. So that's cool. You get to export all these, uh, all this data, uh, for whatever, uh, uh, use you needed to. You might, you know, export it as CSV to run more numbers in Excel or in whatever, you know, uh, tool you're using. So that's that with the results. Now, again, like I said, if you do here, you get to see that it's the same stuff. So let's go to content now. Now with content, um, you get to see your top performers. For reach, where you get to see your top performers um, right here. It gives you a snapshot so you can see top performers for likes and reactions, reach and all that. And you get to see the content actually and how it's, how engaging and the reactions from it. So recent content, you see the type, it's a post. The reach, reach seven people. This reach 54, 20, 20 people. Likes and reactions, sticker taps replies, link clicks, comments, shares, results, cost per results. Now, you could change it here based on, you know, you get the opportunity to do all that. And you could also sort by reach, which is really cool. So now we could see, wow, this is what has reached a lot of people. Should we keep posting this? Should we tweak this content to reach more people? We could see what likes and reactions, the one that has the most engagement. We could see what sticker taps too. So you could pretty much sort your content based on the things that how people are engaging with it you know that's really really cool 
And so we have comments, we have likes and reactions, sticker taps. You can scroll all the way to the right. Shares, you see that too. Uh, what's been shared the most, you see the results. And if you're doing ads, you see the cost per clicks, cost per results. That's pretty, pretty cool. And so this is all under content. And if you click here and you also want to sort of filter out what you want to see, you could do that. You could filter out if I don't want to see ads, if I don't want to see the posts, if I don't want to see the stories. And then as you can see, we don't see anything here. If I just want to see the ads, if I want to see the posts, and if I just want to see the stories. And again, beautifully, easily, you can right here go and export. It downloads it and boom, you have it there. So that's how you can view content. Um, uh, in Facebook insights on how to see it's actually engaging with your audience. And now let's go to the audience page, current audience, potential audience, export again. So as you can see, we have our current audience here again, potential audience, which is really, really cool. It shows us who we can reach. And I'll show you that in a minute. And again, you can export this data. That's the cool thing because uh, reports, um, can be exported to do so many other things, whether you're in a presentation or you need to run some more numbers. That's what this is for. So we see our Facebook, Facebook page likes. We see our gender followership. We see our Instagram likes, age and gender. We see our target market. And as you can see, totally two different target markets on both audiences. Totally two different target markets. Um, and when I say, to, I mean, uh, audiences, when I say that is see the age dynamics here and the age dynamics here. So it lets you know exactly what to do. So now that I can understand this, my Facebook page, I can tailor more content to more people knowing these are who are engaging with the page here. And I could tailor more content to focus on this, these region of people on Instagram. You see how that works? That's what it is when you need to understand the numbers. Now we also see top cities which is really cool that are actually engaging with your content. Top cities, top city, Chicago, New York, you know, get to see that top countries, top countries. So you see how your reach is not just locally, but globally, and you get to see your potential audience. So this is how you could create an ad right here and there. Because what's the point in knowing all that information and then having to go to another platform to create all the ads when, hey, I've gained all that information now, I'm excited, and I could just go right here knowing these are the guys over here that's thirsty for my content. These are the pages that they're visiting. These guys are thirsty for my content. So we get to see the potential audience, and you could also filter that per location, per age, per gender, and all that. And as you can see, it sort of makes sense because it matches the age, the overall age target group, but it also shows me that I have a huge market of people that we have not reached that really want our content. Despite the fact that these guys want our content, there's still a good amount of people here that deserve to see our content so that they can do things to make their social media blow up. So that's it. Looking at a quick overview of uh, Facebook Insights in Facebook Suites so you can understand how to use it. Again, we'll go back to the overview page where you can see the results, the content, and the audience in a brief nutshell. And once you do this, for whatever reason you need to do it for, you can always come back, run the numbers based on different dates. You can go back uh, years, you can go back weeks, as long as that information is here and as long as you've had your pages act active as for that long, then you have that information available. Hope this helps. Take care. And if you like our content, feel free to subscribe and follow. We always post videos that could help you use social media and digital marketing and business tools to pretty much grow your reach and reach your goals.